Okay, son. Did you get that uh, carry bearing bolts up in there? Yeah. Yep. Well, look here. Come on under here, Mick, and tell us what uh. You gotta do. No, tell us what all that we what all you had to do to get this get this back in here. Start from the beginning. Well, uh, I mean, first, we we, yeah. we didn't want to. We should have shot some video. <laughs> I guess if I'm a teaching station, we can shoot the video and show it being all put together and stuff like that. But, uh, you know, it just is what it is, man. We're just trying to get it done, and my phone was dead, so we had to wait for it to charge. But uh, tell them what the first thing that was a critical thing when we went to go put those bolts back in, man. He went and got the bolts. We went and got the bolts, and they were, turns out they were longer, so we had yeah. to go back. They were too, they were too long because... Because uh, he got flywheel bolts, and there is a difference between flywheels and flex plates. So those bolts were too long. And we had to go. Uh, we had to go uh, get some shorter ones, and we put Loctite on them, and then we uh, put them in there and torqued it down. There is a critical side to these flywheels. You, you got to put them in right. If you put them on backwards, where the flared in. When you put them in, you see how that raised edge is out? That's the way those go in. I mean, that's the way the flywheel goes in. It's, it's face out. Some flywheels, I think, says uh, this face out or something, but this one didn't. And we, uh, it's always important to, to make sure your torque converter, when you go put it back in, you make sure it spins freely. Make sure it's uh, not in a bind because if you force the transmission up there and it's that, that, that torque converter ain't seated in there properly, it'll bust the pump that's in the transmission and, and then all that work for nothing. And uh, be sure you torque your, uh, your uh, flywheel, your flex plate bolts down to the specs that you look it up online and torque them down. And be sure and use Loctites. I recommend using brand new bolts. But uh, I wanted to leave a comment on here and also point out to everybody that some 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 flywheel, I mean some torque converters have threads that, that are there and you actually run them up in there. These, you know, they said I didn't want that in there. Somebody said that you, you don't want that crap in there because it's not supposed to be that way. But uh, I promise you, Everybody, you can trust me. Trust me when I'm telling you this, because I looked it up online. 1977 Turbo 350 uh, torque converter bolts. It's a nut and a bolt. It comes factory that way. And when you go up to the store and you ask for torque converter bolts for that year model, they'll show you a package and it has nuts and bolts in it with lock washers. Be sure you got lock washers on all your uh, flex plate bolts when you go to put it back on. Make sure that it's not, you know, you don't have, you tighten them down evenly, cross bolt pattern, and make sure you use Loctite. I'm repeating myself, but I'm just saying these things are important that you gotta make sure you take care of. But, uh, come on, son, help him put this, uh, help him put this cross member in. And, uh, that's pretty much it, man. We just, uh, gotta put the, uh, passing gear back on and uh put the starter back on he got a brand new starter it's upside down of course all right i'll put it upside down all right son he's probably gonna need some help putting that cross member in <sighs> yeah yeah it's upside down it's upside down yeah Oh, just so you all know, it, be sure you put the brake cable on the bottom side of the tail shaft. 